Hey guys, this is Andrew with uh, Central Scoot. I just wanted to make a quick video to help people understand what is the self-healing material that you always see scooter companies advertise. This is a classic uh, tire, 6076.5. It belongs on the 9 bot Max, among other models. If you look on the inside, let me just show you comparison. This is a tire without that material. It's just like a normal uh, rubber tire uh, without any anything fancy, just regular rubber. This is one with quote unquote uh, self healing material. It's this like gel um, layer that goes on the inside of the tire. Now, although it'd be really nice if it actually worked, in our experience, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. Like here, you could see a, a, a nine bot tire that had quote unquote self healing material. All it does is, you know, you're still getting punctures, but it just makes a mess, you know, when, when you do get the puncture. And the problem is that most of these tires are uh, um, like tubeless tires, meaning that they're still pneumatic, but they don't have tubes on the inside. And so you've got to um, still, you know, put on a new tire and get the bead to sit perfectly on the rim and expand. And the problem with a lot of the self-healing material is that when the tire goes bad, you know, usually people are still riding it for a good number of minutes until they realize that it went flat or, you know, to get to their destination or whatnot. And in the process, all that goo and gunk uh, ends up getting all in the inside of the tire rim and it makes a mess. This isn't that bad of an example. You know, you really can't see the mess, but there's tires when, when that gunk gets all over the rim, it's everywhere. It's a disaster. It's all over the tires and all over the rim. And then the problem is that when you try to put a new tire on, that, that rim of the tire has to get through all that gunk and stickiness and pop on the bead and it becomes much much harder uh so you end up having to clean a significant portion of all that gunk off and so in theory it might you know stop a couple of small punctures but our experience is that it really doesn't make that much of a difference you know we see them go just as bad as you know the uh you know regular tires or you know tube tires uh at least anecdotally and it just makes a mess you know when you do have to change the tire and it makes it a much harder job than you know it really needs to be because you, you can't seat the bead as easy as possible so that's kind of you know just demystifying what self-healing material is you know in theory it's nice does it actually work ah, you know it's hard to say but it really doesn't seem to make that much of a difference i mean here's another classic example that's an niu they use quote-unquote self-healing material it's got a flat tire i mean we see niu maxes all the time we see nine bot uh, maxes all the time and they both you know are companies that use self-healing material and so you know in our experience it's really not you know it's kind of false advertising it's not self-healing because a lot of times it doesn't heal. Anyway, that's our take. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Bye now.